Hello and welcome to this series looking at the basics of neural networks and mutation algorithms. I'm going to say from the start this series is aimed at complete beginners. Um, somebody who's just looking to understand how these things work from a very, very simple point of view explained step by step. If you're already doing things with machine learning, neural nets and things, this isn't for you. Um, if you're any kind of expert or experience with it already, then please, this isn't going to be for you. I'm going to take a very, very gentle and light introduction. And what we're going to do is we're going to do what you can see on the screen. We're going to write a clone with some bad graphics done by me of the Flappy game, which is very, very famous. And there are lots of examples of neural nets being used to learn this online. And we're going to write a very, very simple neural net. We're going to write on top of that a mutation algorithm. And hopefully both of those together are going to do what you can see on the screen, which is allow the computer to use it to learn how to play the game. Now, I want to reiterate that we're really going to keep things simple. This has taken 20 or so iterations so far. And looks like it has learned the game. I've seen it, I've sat here and seen it also take over a hundred iterations to do the same thing. And you'll see throughout the course, that actually, there's lots more that we could add to what we're going to do. Lots of tuning, optimizing your parameters and things like that to get it to learn very, very quickly. But for this course, this series, I really want to just focus on the absolute basics, just to give a really nice, gentle visual introduction into how all of these things work. So to do this, we're going to use Python. So you need to have installed on your computer, whether you're using Windows, Linux or Mac, you need to have Python installed. And in our case, we're using Python 3. Now, I don't have Python installed on this computer I'm using to record. So when I type Python in the command prompt, I open the interpreter uh, for Python 3, 3.7.2 in my case. The installation of Python itself, there's um, python.org uh, forward slash downloads, which has then a download button for Python 3. and there's all sorts, there are loads of tutorials online of how to get it up and running, how to set your environment variables and things so that you can execute it from the console. Uh, so I'm not going to cover that in these videos, um, otherwise it will take far too long. But we're not just going to be using Python. One of the other things we're going to be using, uh, we're going to be using some libraries. First of all, we're going to be using Pygame, P-Y-G-A-M-E. It's a wrapper, or it's Python on top of the CSDL game library. It basically allows us to make uh, the game graphics very easily. Um, has loads of good stuff already done for you in there, so you don't need to waste time drawing uh, sprites and things like that. I'm going to we're going to use the SciPy S C I P Y package and the NumPy N U M P Y package as well. Now I installed all three of those packages using the Python package installer pip. I typed in the console pip install pygame, pip install numpy, pip install scipy. Now in my experience, there, well, there are lots and lots and lots of different ways to install packages with Python. The main thing is you need to go online and, and understand how to install each of these packages to get things up and running. And you should arrive at the state that if you open a Python interpreter and type import pygame, it works and you get hello. Um, also, if you type import numpy, no error, and import scipy, also no error should be visible. If you get an error or something there, then the packages aren't installed. Remember Python 3, and if that's not working like on the screen here, then things aren't going to work later on with the code. So we're going to do this all in three stages. The first stage will be actually make the working game in Pygame. The second stage will be to make a neural net that decides what the computer should do, or the computer uses to decide what to do. And the third step will be mutating the neural net so we try and learn and improve with each iteration how we play the game. So hopefully you enjoy the series and uh, we'll start coding in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.